Hi everybody, today I wanted us to do a pick an angel for what your um, dreams are meaning or what they are revealing to you. So take some time and look at angel number one, two, or three. We're going to go ahead and start with no, um, angel number one. We will go to two and then three and I will leave the timestamps below. Hi everybody who chose angel number one. We are going to pull two um, different set of cards. So we'll have four cards in total to see um, what your dreams are revealing or what they're trying to tell you. So we will pull two cards to start. Okay, so um, you're really trying to change. Something's changing in you. Yes, okay, that's beautiful. So you are on a new journey, and um, that's really going to change you. Um, you are doing something beautiful. You are learning new things in your dream, or you are closing up things on the astro um, to just continue to further you in your journey. Um, you might be getting some information in your dreams. Um about like how you can better um, how you can better go about your journey or um, maybe you're having like let's say that you are trying to do like a business or you're trying to do social media or something like if you're trying to do that and you dream like oh um, I got like 60,000 subscribers last night or oh my gosh my business got um, 70,000 sales last night like just something like crazy like you're just dreaming about that um, that's like the journey that you're going towards. Like you are at the beginning of this journey and it's super beautiful and your dreams are trying to help you, um, lead to that journey or really just keep you positive about that. You can really complete this. They want you to know, um, your spirit ones are coming in just to tell you, like, you're going to be able to complete this. This is going to be something beautiful. Um, something that you love, like you're changing and, you have a beautiful journey ahead of you, whatever it is that you are trying to do. Yes. Okay. So I just said that um, your spirit guides are like in connection with you. They are trying to communicate with you. And that is exactly what they're doing. So they're giving you messages. If you're dreaming about like, if you are doing a business of some kind and you just have a dream about your business or about whatever you're trying to do, that's coming to you. Like that is confirmation. Like that's them telling you, don't give up. I don't care how hard it is. This has so much potential. Yeah. So you, um, we also have body coming through. So you have such a beautiful idea. Like you have such a beautiful idea. You are doing um, something that you have, whether it's social media, business, um, new relationship, an idea about something like don't give up on that. That is such a beautiful journey. And in your dreams, like if you're feeling iffy about it or like you go back and forth or um, maybe you think your dreams are just um, like, you know, just just dreams like nothing like that's just hopes. And like you think about that through the day. So you think that it's nothing like it is something. Um, and your spirit guides are trying to communicate with you. Like there is something so beautiful ahead of you. So don't give up on that. Um, your journey is about to just begin. Like you are at the start of your journey. You just came to an idea that can lead you somewhere. And they're trying to help you um, confirm that and change to get to this beautiful journey. They're communicating with you a lot. So really remember your dreams. Um, like I said, if you're having a dream about like getting a certain amount of sales or you're get, um, having dreams about something like um, if you're pregnant and like giving birth or if you're like that's that's coming to you soon like that you are getting a message that something is coming and you need to not give up because your spirit guides are communicating with you. And whatever it is, is something beautiful and it's going to make you really happy. So pay attention to your dreams um, because your journey ahead of you is really beautiful, but it's just beginning and they're really trying to communicate with you. I hope everybody enjoyed this message. Hello to everybody who picked angel number two. Um, I am going to pull four cards to see what your dreams are trying to reveal to you, the messages behind your dreams um, that you've been having. So let's get into it. Wow. 
relationships okay so let's see the card that comes out with this focus okay so um if you have been dreaming about something in your relationship or um let's say like workplace if you're having um dreams about a person a friendship um any relationship in your life and you are dreaming about them negatively um it doesn't mean that they're doing what you're dreaming about but they're deceiving you in some way and you need to really pay attention to it um on like when you're in present when you're awake um you need to focus on what they're deceiving you about um not to say that like they are doing whatever it is in your dreams but your um spirit guides are trying to tell you like whoever this person is that you've been dreaming about doesn't have your best intentions um, at mind and you need to focus on that um let's get some more messages from them if this is like about um and this can go vice versa if you um are dreaming about like reconnecting with somebody too um maybe really focus on that maybe you guys are supposed to be in reconnection maybe they're thinking about you and you um are thinking about them and you should focus on that like maybe there's something that you two need to talk about um so if you are in that position i definitely would say um reach out to them see what they're trying to um tell you because they they have something like get it's, it's on their side too like they want to communicate with you that's why you're um picking up on that and i actually had a dreaming about a person video posted and that really Basically, um, if you go watch that, like if you're feeling them in your present day um, and it's like about somebody from your past and you're like feeling them in present, um, like you feel them when you're sleeping, um, when you're awake, anytime like you feel them, you need to reach out to them um, and focus on that message because maybe they need to communicate with you. Maybe something's wrong um, with them, not in a bad way, but like maybe they're just feeling sad and they need some comfort and like you're that person for them. Um, so let's see. Um, yeah, so we got the same card as the other one, um, as angel number one. If you are dreaming about that person, then you really should communicate with them. Um, there's a reason. Um, yeah, I feel like if you're dreaming about a specific person, um, and they're not in communication with you, you should communicate with, like, focus on that dream because they want to communicate with you and it could be the start of a new relationship. Um, something new coming in like that person has changed you have changed um and it's a good record like a reconciliation like that would be um like that would be a good friendship a good relationship now um as in the past it wasn't or maybe um you are reconnected with this person um and they don't want you um or like not that they don't want you you don't want them because of like what they yeah um i feel like for, so these just kind of fell out. So I feel like for you, um, if this person you dreamed about, like you, you were in connection with them in the past, they really hurt you. Um, or like even if this friendship relationship, um, this could be a parent, like you always like fall in because you really believe them. Um, like you go into things blindly. Um, and so you're like kind of like scared. Like if you see her up here, you're like scared or you just like aren't trusting yourself. But they want to communicate with you. Um I feel like you could be like, this is them like chasing you, like you're running away from it. Like you're scared um, because you have fallen in with it before you go into it blindly and you um, always feel like, I, I just feel like you feel like it's always kind of the same cycle. Um, but this time, like they really want to talk to you. Um, and it, it would be a like, it's the birth of something new like this would be a great relationship like with the birth coming out and the babies like this would be a really great relationship for you um but you're scared of this relationship because i feel like they've hurt you in the past like whether this be friend um a situation of any kind like this could be even like anything in your life like i feel like something is coming in for you again that's always kind of there um like you've tried to do it before and you've tried to do it again and you just keep going through the same cycle and you're kind of just like i don't want to do it again and this kind of opportunity is kind of showing up for you um you're dreaming about this um or you like an opportunity is present for you and you're kind of just like eh, i don't want it but it's the time for that now like you're able you guys um you guys or the situation it's like present for you but every time you've like fallen head over heels 
you go into it blindly. Um, I feel like, and this time, like it's chasing you instead of you chasing because you, like it says, it's chased, like you've chased it before. So this time I feel like it would definitely be a good time to restart. Um, if this is a relationship or a new idea, um, or like a relationship with any kind, if you're dreaming about somebody specifically, I would definitely reach out to them, um, because they are feeling you. And there's a reason that you guys, um, need to communicate, especially with communication coming out, um, because that came out in the other one as well. And then these three fell out, like they want to communicate something with you. Um, such a weird, I don't, I don't know if you guys heard that. Um, something just made a noise and I have no idea what that was. Um, they want to communicate with you, especially with uh, communication coming um, out and that just like that noise. I don't know what that noise was like at all. But with that noise coming out, when I said communication, I would, I, they want to communicate with you. You need to communicate with this person or um, communicate with yourself because this relationship is um, time. Like you guys are going to have a good relationship. Like the time is ready for you too. So I hope everybody enjoyed angel number two. Hi, everybody who picked angel number three. Let's see um, what your messages are. I'm going to pull four cards in total unless more cards came out. Um, last angel number two bought a ton of cards because they just flew out. Um, but it was a really good message. So let's just see um, four cards unless more fall out. creativity so you have a new idea you are very um creative you come up with things um we'll just set this here and see if you guys can see it now okay um you guys are super creative um you have new ideas yes okay so you i feel like you guys always have like good ideas um coming to you guys like it's kind of like you guys always ask for something new and then like things just like pop up to you. Um, like your your mind is very uh, like not like a child, but like you, you see how like optimistic they are. Like they they're young, they're optimistic um, for you. I feel like you're very creative, um, but and your spirit guides give you like ideas and like you think about them, but you don't put like enough, enough time into it. Um, like if you really put time in to something like one of these ideas, then you will go somewhere. Um, they're really good ideas. Like your spirit guides are giving them to you. Um, and I feel like you give each one a little bit of time, but you don't give it enough time to get to this full place. Um, let's pull some extra cards and see. But I feel like you guys are super creative. Like you guys always have new ideas. Um, you guys always have something like new coming to mind. Um, and if you're dreaming about like new ideas, that's if you're dreaming about um, something new and like it's consistently or you keep like having the same dream about um, a certain situation, like maybe you should give that a try. Like your spirit guides are really trying to give you um, a message. Y yes. Okay. So I feel this card has came out literally in every single one. Um, and I, it, they're communicating with you. Um, it's crazy that that card has come out in every one, but they are communicating with you. They want you, um, they, they're giving you ideas in your dreams. Like, do you see all these messages right here? They're giving you those ideas in your dreams, um, especially with this card as well right here. Do you see all of them um, dropping down like with the flowers? So they're giving you ideas. Um, they're really communicating with you. Um, I feel like maybe, yeah, so reading this, it's um, where are you struggling with like acknowledging things? How do you feel with the world around you? What's not adding up in your life? And it's like balloons um, and stuff like that taking off. So really what you guys, um, I feel like you guys don't give something like enough time, like you're asking for change in your life. Um, but you're not giving it enough time to change. Um, like you see the time there. It's crazy that I, um, said to, I didn't even notice the clock. And then I looked down that, that there's time, like you need to give something time. Um, like you give it very little time and it takes off and then you go on to the next idea. You really need to, um, 
if you're dreaming about a specific idea consistently, that's them telling you like, that's a good idea. Like, listen to me. Um, like I have told you, like, I feel like you've been stuck in a hard place. Like you want something to change. Like you want a, a better relationship. You want more income. You want a better home. You want this, um, like whatever it is that you've been consistently asking for, like they're really trying to help you. Um, and they're giving you messages through your dreams. Like they're communicating, like you might be dreaming of like a better home, a better workplace, um, more money. Uh, like you might be dreaming about, new things coming in and you just think that's like your subconscious like dreaming that for you um yeah if this is around homes like you um i feel like you're you're not giving it enough time like you are trying to rush into something like you are trying to rush into all these like houses that are janky and wouldn't do you well and there's a house right back here you need to give it time if this is about home like give it time if this is about an idea like you aren't giving these enough time like these are all janky um he is he um you are not giving it enough time to build into a beautiful home you are not giving your idea enough time to build into this beautiful um, home that it could be because you just keep jumping from idea to idea. So each e each idea or each situation is turning out janky because you aren't giving it the time that it needs. Like you jump from one thing to another thing to another thing. Like you need to give it time and like it will become this beautiful um, home. It'll become this beautiful situation. Um, if this is around a home, like really put your time, put your effort. Um, I, I feel like they are trying to give you ideas, especially like if you're dreaming about your situation being better, it's because it can be, but you need to give it time. You need to really um, focus on how it can change. You need to focus on um, how you can build the best situation or the best idea out of what you have. Um, I know that it, like, let's say that you're trying to build like a home, right? And you only have like a certain amount of blocks in front of you at this moment. But that doesn't mean that you can't go back to the store and get more blocks. Like you need to start somewhere and you're like, I don't have all the supplies. Well, that's fine. You don't need all the supplies to start. Like start with what you have and it can get bigger. That's how everything works. Like start with what you have and it will get bigger. But you need to put the time into one idea and they are giving you um, ideas because you are such a creative person. Like if whatever you want to do, you can do it. You just put your mind to it and you can do it. So really, um, Oh, my baby just walked in. She's awake. Okay. Well, um, definitely put your mind to it and, um, you can do whatever you've been asking for. Daddy.